M0FXP, let's have a go at doing the firmware on our Alens HD2. First thing we'll do is look it up. We'll just go menu, go down to the bottom with the down arrow, click version, and there it is there, okay? Uh, we've actually have already updated it. I'm still gonna show you how to do it. Most of you will have version, version one. So the Smoking Ape has provided a download link for the firmware and I've watched his video and thanks very much for his video because it's helped me learn how to do this firmware. That's the Smoking Ape. Okay, on YouTube. Next thing we'll do is connect the cable, which you've got here. Turn the radio off and put it into firmware mode. Button underneath the PTT and the PTT while turning on and you get a red LED on when you when you see that, you know you're ready to do the firmware. Of course, the cable's plugged in the PC. We need to know what our COM port is. We'll go right click, device manager, double click ports, and we are COM22. Let's just move this out of the way so you can see it. There you go, COM22 just here, okay. That's important, you're gonna need that number. Then go to the download by Smoking Ape and download, I just downloaded everything by clicking the download arrow here. And then it went to my downloads folder and I extracted it to a folder where I could find it called HD2 that I just created here. You right click, right click, just go new folder and then name it. And then you put everything in there just by clicking extract and selecting that folder. So now let's run it. So we'll double click that folder and let's run this software. I'm just gonna re-extract it in there because I think I deleted it. Extract two. This is all of the folders. And then we just find the one called HD2, which is, where is it? It's on my desktop. So you click desktop and then you go HD2 firmware, click okay. It's in there now. And then we will just double click that folder. There's all the downloads there, of course. Took a while to go in there. So there it is there, just show you this. We're gonna double click it. I'm just gonna use the top one, double click this little blue and white folder. Just here. It says version 2.03 GPS, click yes. And then we're gonna run that. And then launch the program, it's only a small little program here. Now select here, drop down 22 and connect. And then you click here, it says get version. Click that and it loads it up for you. And then you click update and your radio will gradually load that in. It does take a few minutes, about three, four minutes. I mean, it's a, it's a nice radio. It's definitely an upgrade. It's got 500,000 contacts, USB-C charging. The Bluetooth little, the free Bluetooth thing they give you, it works actually, and it connects instantly. And it also connects to a little Bluetooth speaker that I had here as well. So I, you know, I think the improvements are worth it. The case design is slightly different, not massively different, but you can, you can see a, you know, the case design is different. I just put the, pan across to the HD1, very similar but different, okay? It's got a new red orange or orange button here that you push it for emergency. It's got, I'm pretty sure it's got a broadcast radio. All right, we're very near now. GPS built in, Bluetooth built in, you know, these are all features that are fun. And I don't feel like D DMR will ever have more than 500,000 contacts, so it's confident. And the price, I mean, these are selling, I've just seen them, they're, they're selling really cheap on AliExpress at the moment, like 150 pound with all the bits. I think that's good myself. I think it's a good price. Um, I'll show you the link. Right, that's done. Just make sure it is, get the message. Yep, it says successful. Click OK, turn the radio off, then on. Frequency mode. 
Oh. You get the, you know, the new colors. You get the night mode. Um, so let's just show you, go menu, and then go down to version. There you go. 2.03 GPS. I think that's the, the latest one. So I'll just show you that link that I saw. So here it is here. 165 pounds, but um, 24 pound off on orders that are over 145 pound. Now where's three delivery? Uh, it looks like that, that looks like a USA one as well. Mine was, mine was about 165 delivered. And I think that was, for what I got, I got the programming cable, USB cable, I got the drop-in charger, you can see here. Drop-in charger, USB cable, the belt clip of course, the belt clip, and the little Bluetooth device which works. If I can find it, I put it down somewhere. No, I've dropped I put it down, but it doesn't matter because it, it looks like any other Bluetooth device. So thanks for watching my channel. Firmware update, Aliens HD27.